does enlightenment happen in a moment or is it a practice that happens gradually you must have seen many people they are doing some practice to get enlightened or for self realization so what kind of practice will make you self realized or what will enlighten you what kind of actions will enlighten you and keep you enlightened so this is a very common question and it is totally a result of no guidance because the person has never met any guru the person has never met any teacher and he has probably seen some people who are enlightened or whatever probably he has heard somewhere that you need to get enlightened and then the mind starts planning its enlightenment and therefore this question comes what should i need what should i do what do i need to do to get enlightened or whatever this state is and uh, how to achieve it and then how to remain there and what is the technique to achieve that this points to a wrong path the person has taken a wrong path so is it gradual no it does it take time no is it uh, based on a technique no so if self realization is the realization of the true nature of what we are then it logically follows that uh, what we are are that right now also the true nature is present right now also so will the true nature appear gradually will it start building up somewhere that's not true nature if it needs to be brought from somewhere if it is a product of a pack practice if it is a product of a technique it cannot be the true nature because that would imply that it is absent right now and if it is absent right now then what is your true nature right now so it is not possible and the true nature is always here it does not happen gradually if it is being realized gradually then probably you are realizing something else not your true nature because the true nature does not happen in stages there is no stage number 1 of true nature and then tomorrow you will get the next dose and then after one year other dose and finally the true nature is complete it is not like this it has to be a right now right here so what is enlightenment and what is the realization of true this true nature why i don't know it these are the questions coming from a mind a confused mind which needs a little bit of pointing out that's all the true nature cannot be pointed out that is another trouble because it would be very easy if and their guru or somebody else or some i could even write a book you know do this and this and this go here sit there and look in this direction look inside or all and no it is not possible to do that true nature cannot be pointed out what can, what can you do is to point out the false nature and that is all and the false nature is pointed out and then when this uh, ignorance about what i am not is removed then the true nature is revealed it should not take more than 2 minutes to to reveal it what do we do and we have in advait we have this very effective methods called self inquiry or progressive discarding of what you are not remember that the guru will not show you your true nature never he will show you only that which you assume is your true nature some people don't even assume they are totally blank so this is a good place to start i don't know what is my true nature that means you are already there 50% you are already on the edge now the guru will give a push and then you'll fall into the true nature but it becomes a little bit of trouble if you have assumptions if you have blind beliefs of all kinds like my true nature is this body this pile of matter is me this is the only true truth about me and this means uh, a lot of work will be needed to destroy the superstition that i am the body 
and uh, this is actually possible it is very brutal to, <laughs> it can be done in few seconds but uh, the real problem is when people assume uh, something which is non physical as their true nature now good luck removing that belief because you can very clearly see about the truth of the body but uh, if something is in the mind then it becomes a psychological procedure to remove it it is uh, kind of difficult because of the assumptions then it is totally uh, depends on the skill of the guru the guru needs to be very skillful here the guru needs to see into the mind and then find out what are the real assumptions and why the assumptions are there and then on the spot the teacher will fabricate a method a made up method some solution upai to cut the, the, that ignorance down it is complicated and that's why you need a guru if you had no assumptions at all you would see it in one second a mind is very active highly intellectual mind humans and therefore it is it is engaged in only that which can be put into language symbols of some kind so i was recently listening to some music and i saw something strange which everybody must have seen when they are engrossed in music the mind is gone when you are in the music you see when you are engrossed in the music the mind is absent the symbols the language gone and there is nothing for the mind to hold there nothing there to hold and there is this pure experience of sound is there any difference between the experience and the experiencer when there is music well the ego is gone the body is gone thoughts are gone there is just the music which is also the witness of the music it is very beautiful it is only forgetting of the mind what remains is a union of the experience of the music and the experiencing of the music so you will find this in the faces of the people who are listening to the melodious music they forget everything even the eyes are closed and just like a statue of buddha their face can be seen in bliss people say i am not happy <laughs> see it is because there is a constant whip lash of desires constantly there in the waking state and this uh, ignorance people are engrossed you know this ignorance uh, they are in the clutches of this mental activity now there is no problem in mental activity is most natural thing what happened is this is a negative kind of activity it produces uneasiness anxiety stress suffering pain and that is the problem isn't it otherwise the mind is a machine it is doing whatever it does so and the mind is the cause of the ignorance otherwise our true nature is present here and now people try to do the patchwork of fixing the mind let me fix the mind it's too noisy it is too troublesome it is too negative it is a criminal mind a mad mind well <laughs> it is because of past experiences your past actions it is it has become like this so that is not self realization that is surgery on the mind what is self realization when this thing is absent gone temporarily or permanently or whatever and uh, you are the music when the experience is the experiencer that is bliss why don't i have it every day every time and this is this is another ignorance isn't it just like when the music was present you were present as music isn't it now it makes no sense to call the experience and the experiencer it is all, all one you are one with the music so are you all the time one with the mind just re remove music put mind there put your thoughts and actions and feelings sensations emotions this is the music the internal music of the mind are you not there as your mind right now right here 
you are there right now right here as my voice this voice is not my voice it's not coming separately from somewhere it's the experiencer itself it is speaking to itself did it take time for you to do this realization How, was it gradual was it sudden no the realization is always that i am always there my true nature my essence is always there this is the realization it is right now right here also <laughs> don't think that you know my mind is like this i forget this and i forget that all is happening as experiencer all is happening as your true nature it is tricky isn't it no amount of practice will give you this view no amount of practice don't do pranayam don't do breathing don't do this or that asan and whatever bullshit they teach you in yoga that is for fixing various things which you can do if you want this is not for self realization self cannot be realized you see you can only realize the stuff that you assumed is true you can only realize your ignorance i am ignorant i did not know that these thoughts are running me so on it is so it is simpler than that actually just realize that all these experiences are happening are just music in which the experiencer is completely involved because it is that experience there is nothing more to realize than this nothing more to do no practice will achieve this when you are cooking when you are cleaning and when you are just folding your clothes or packing your stuff driving and all just see that it is the true nature is always present it is doing all these things it is actually all these things it is all the experience all the actions there is no doer because the doing and the thing that is done is one why is there no doer because it implies duality is doer separate from the doing have you seen have you seen this no what is our direct experience the doing and the done is one just like when we are listening to the music the listener and that to just to which we are listening is one now momentary fuse if if i draw your attention to this thing when you are engrossed in the music sometimes you will find that this division happens let's say you are engrossed in the music and i say um do you know who composed this song do you know who composed the music and suddenly your mind will wake up from the trance and your mind will say it will go search the memory say yes yes this and this and, and then the listener is separated from the music so this is the activity of the mind it divides for a while this goes in memory now this is amazing isn't it now let me take you down the memory why do we have this illusion that we are separate from everything it is because of the memory again the memory is the culprit everywhere so this activity of division is recorded in the memory and when you recall there is this memory of the music and the listener and all the data that is associated with the music who composed this who sang this what year it, it was released and then your memories of listening it for the first time with your family in the cassette recorder and so on. <laughs> this is knowledge what i'm calling as data and memory is knowledge and is stored in the memory this gives us an impression that i was there listening to the music and notice your direct experience when you are listening to the music especially especially the instrumental music or melodious music which does not evoke your you know uh, lower um instincts not very angry music not very uh, exciting music but i find that also sometimes pleasing you see bhangra is very pleasing <laughs> disco is very pleasing when you are in that mood and you can be engrossed in that music also the rhythm also so what happens when you listen to the music very soothing music melodious music is there this knowledge present no so much so that the body will start moving by itself it, you will start tapping you will start swinging with the music why 
because the thought process is absent because the symbols language is absent can you enjoy the music while giving a running commentary on the music like cricket commentary <laughs> that is impossible isn't it it's not possible to enjoy that kind of music and the mind needs to go and then the art takes over same thing will happen whenever you look at anything beautiful the mind stops when it whether it's a beautiful painting whether it is a beautiful person or any any animal or you are standing in front of a very beautiful big mountain covered with snow same thing will happen sometimes it is very profound people start crying when they see something beautiful it is an experience it, it is not painful obviously they are not crying because something bad has happened uh, and the and the tears are tears of joy why is there joy there because for a split second the mind left them in the experience became the experiencer for a second so our true nature is here right now right here it is there when the mind is not present which which produces very blissful experience and it is same experience the experience of the yogi in meditation is same as experience of uh, a music lover when listening to music same as experience of a traveler when the traveler is watching the natural beauty big big cliffs and rivers and oceans same experience as the lover watching the beautiful face of his beloved or, or a child watching his mother same experience the yogi is not doing anything special you see you do, you ca- cannot become a yogi you can only realize that the yog is present right now right here this mind is the yogi's mind this mind right now that we have is already one this realization will not happen by practice <laughs> how much practice it takes to appreciate something beautiful we are all born with this appreciation so the answer to this question is does enlightenment happen in a moment or is a gradual process it should be obvious to you now that uh, well it is not gradual and it does not happen in a moment what happens is uh, the relaxation of the mind and the appearance of blissful existence consciousness self as as if it was always there the timeless timelessness happens so those who want to put the whole thing into time are making some kind of mistake i can see why this mistake is there because this is how our training is to do something well you you, you need to put some effort and it will is going to take time and then you apply this conditioning this brainwashing to spiritual realization it's not going to work spiritual stuff is totally different from the worldly stuff that's why we have this division of uh, spiritual and material and that's why most of the time i say well i don't give any kind of useful advice here i don't give you any knowledge i don't give anything that you can use and that is very disappointing for the people or oh, you mean i'll never achieve anything i'll never get enlightenment i'll never get the self realization atma gyan brahma gyan whatever you call it and, um, and the answer is no it's not something to be gotten by effort time practice these are different things you see even the practices that we do to fix our minds fix our bodies and so on they go into the material domain you know this side of the margin not in the spiritual so sometimes i think it is very good contrast but uh, when the spiritual is when you realize that the material was never there this is spiritual isn't it when you realize the true nature of everything disappearance of the ego and disappearance of the separation do you see do you still see something material if you do then you need to do the self inquiry again you you need to go back to the square one again because you failed to see the true nature it is not different from the material 
the material and spiritual is there only when there is no realization so spiritual is encompassing the material this is little bit tricky to <laughs> explain because our view is always dualistic oh this is material thing that means spiritual is must be absent there this is spiritual that means the material must be absent there this is how the mind thinks you see now what is reality reality is non dual the spiritual includes the material it cannot be anything else and look at it let's go back to the music again was there music yes was there the listener yes was there any separation no but still there was music and still the listening was there so in this is the whole picture when you hide the parts of the picture you can say oh there was music and all i was listening to the music you you can hide some parts of this picture and say like this when you the whole picture is revealed well the music has disappeared into the listener so this is how spiritual things are they are strange